Hi there. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Elisha. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this construction of steps that are you expected to take for you to construct the triangle that was expected of the external candidates grade nines in 2023 to construct. So as I've actually indicated, this is a question that was extracted from mathematics paper two, 2023, that was written by the grade nine external, external candidates. So I'm gonna do the construction right from this paper. So construction is all about following the instructions that you're given. So they're saying use geometrical instruments to, con to construct triangle PQR. So the triangle will have those vertices P, Q, and R. In which PQ take the first line as the best line. So they're saying PQ, this one here, PQ is equal to four centimeters. So we pick four centimeters from zero to four. That's four centimeters. So we need to indicate the points that is P and that is Q. Okay, so now from there we have to read on QR is equal to five centimeters. So from Q to R, we don't even know where R will be. We just have to pick the dimension. Now, don't get a rule and just do like that. What you do is you get a rule, then you also get your pair of compasses, then pick the dimension. That's uh, QR is equal to five centimeters. Plant your pair of compasses, especially the sharp part on zero, and then extend the other part where the pencil is to five centimeters. That's how you pick dimensions with a pair of compasses. So from here, I'm gonna plant the pair of compasses on Q and then strike an arc. This is a constructional line, so it mustn't be bold. It has to be faint. So from here, we can now move on to here. They're saying PQR is equal to 120. So if you look at this when you're given three letters, just know that they want you to pick an angle which is a mid of the three. So angle Q. Where is angle Q? Angle Q is here. So when you are picking an angle on your right, what you do is you align your, your protractor like that. So this line here has to be in line with the best line. Then the, this this vertical line has to be in line with the point here. Okay, so beautiful. That has beautifully been done. So now from here, you will need to pick 120 degrees. So now where do you go? Are you starting from here? 0, 10, 20, or you're starting from here? So when you put your protractor on your right, you have to use the upper scale. So you're starting from the left, 0, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120 is here. So make a mark on 120. Okay, so the arc will actually be the boundary. This line that I'm gonna draw won't go beyond, won't, won't go past the arc that I had drawn. So you see, I try to draw the line and I say, okay, fine, it's gonna pass here. You'll be able to, to touch the vertex Q. And uh, let's see, you'll be able to touch the point that I'd actually made here. So I'm now gonna draw a line from vertex Q and it will just touch the arc. Okay, beautiful. So here we can indicate to say this is angle 120 degrees. Okay, so this one can be bold. 
this is 120 degrees now always ensure that your pencil is well sharpened you see that I didn't sharpen my pencil pretty well you have to make sure that your pencil is well sharpened and then your construction work the bold lines all of them should come out neat so now we can complete we can complete our triangle make sure you give it a shot to see if the line will touch the vertices okay so so since they said QR so this one will be vertex R so we have actually constructed the triangle PQR by so doing you're given one mark okay so now they're saying on Roman numeral 2, the saying measure and write the length of PR. Which one is PR? PR is this one here. PR. So that's 7. You start counting those dimensions which are a mid of 7 and 8. 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5. Six, seven. Let's check where it's falling. 7.5, 7.6, 7.7. 7.8 wow that's 7.8 that's 7.8 so i'm coming back here on the same drawing i'm going to indicate to say this is c question c roman numero two and then i'm going to show what i had just uh, measured so it's a pr is equal to 7.8 centimeters so that was been that one has been answered let's move on to three they're saying bisect the sides pq pq and qr bisect side pq and qr so when they say bisect they're saying divide those lines into two equal parts so now how do you bisect now to bisect you simply plant your the sharp part of the pair of compasses there then extend it beyond half make sure that it goes beyond half uh, you may be like how do you tell this is half you can actually tell by looking at the diagram half could be here so now i'm going to extend the pair of compasses beyond half and then strike an arc take a look at this then another arc after striking those two arcs what i'll do is i'll shift the pair of compasses without changing the dimensions plant it on the other end strike an arc just to ensure that they touch and the intersection points that's where the line will actually pass so grade nine work mostly <laughs> they, they they don't tell you say within the triangle there's no condition so you can draw the line and end it anywhere you feel like so we have actually bisected line pq but that said we have to bisect even qr right we have to bisect qr so qr is this one qr make sure you extend your pair of compasses beyond half this is the part which is so Challenging to grade nines, not not only grade nines, grade twelves as well. Strike another. They they all essence of you not know, shifting the pair of compasses is to make sure that we draw arcs that will meet. We don't have to complete them. Our interest is to see where they're going to meet from. So I've actually drawn. I've actually constructed the arcs. Then from here. I can now make sure that I draw a line passing through the intersection points of those two arcs. So now they're saying, with, are we done? For, just for doing so, we, we acquired two marks. And they're saying, label the point of intersection of the two bisectors. So this line is actually the perpendicular bisector of QR. This line here is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Now, where they are meeting from, 
That's the one they're calling the intersection point of those two, two, two perpendicular bisectors. This one here should be labeled as, oh, and I've done so, and then I can read on now, with center O and radius OP. So this one will be the center and the radius OP. So I'm going to open it from O to vertex P. This one will be the radius of the circle that I, uh, I have to draw. They're saying draw a circle passing through the vertices PQR. It will touch PQR. So if you've done the construction pretty well, the circle will actually touch the vertices of the drawn triangle. And check out. I hope. Bah! Okay. Beautiful. How I wish I had actually drawn this on a separate piece of paper. So you see, this one has come out pretty well. I don't know if, yeah, I think the pair of compasses moved, but uh, yeah, it moved at some point. Cool. Okay, so now when you see double lines, like the ones you're seeing right now, make sure that you wrap out everything. This work has to be clean. It has to be nicked. No double lines. You know, those days I was in grade eight, the head teacher was teaching us geometrical mechanical drawing and he would always, he would always say, <laughs> technical drawing is a language of lines. It's a language of lines. So you have to make sure that your lines are actually communicating cool message you know what i'm saying so if you're drawing double lines then it shows that you haven't understood what technical drawing is so you need to know this branch of mathematics is actually stolen from uh engineering you know okay so this the the the, the circle that i've drawn is called the circumscribed circle so friends, that's how we do it <laughs> for the sake of making a demo. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Tell them to subscribe, keep liking, and I wish you all the best on the exams. Stay blessed.